All right, we have you. You're on. You're on. I'm just looking at my red face. We have a strong sun out here the last days. Yeah. Oh. Good evening, people. Okay. What do we have? Manifest. Sound is pretty low on you, Bob. Uh, got it. I think we fixed it. He'll, he'll fix it. My man will fix it. Uh, so manifest and hidden. Uh, I want to clarify that. Okay. Oh, what I did or how I thought. Remember my history. I I came out of a time where energy as we kind of know it now wasn't really known okay in my day i'm going to age myself there uh there was no yoga class at every recreation department like there is now there was no meditation classes like they're all over the place now there was no tai chi unless you happen to be chinese and live close to china Okay, Aikido wasn't really yet. Uh, so energy things and energy language weren't, weren't really known. In, in the old days, when I said something to somebody about energy, they'd go, huh, what are you talking about, electricity? Sensei, Sensei yeah. I'm sorry. I can hear you, um, but others can't. We worked on the sound earlier. Um, right now, this uh, is enough. Let me try it now. Okay. Yeah, That's Noah, can you hear? Noah, uh, can you hear me? I'm using you for reference. Yes, uh, it's better. It's still softer than usual, but better. Okay. Huh. Better, but not good. So everyone, he he's on a Bluetooth audio device, the one we always use that works perfectly. So thank you for your advice about hardware, but um, we're not changing it. Go ahead, Bob. I think, uh, you know, enunciate clearly. Um, we do have a sound problem, but we, I don't know what we can do about it. Give it a shot. Now you're frozen. That is frozen video. <clears throat> okay, I see people moving. Um, Brad, let us know if you're gonna reconnect. Yeah, log back in, I think. Okay, we can blame blame Lauren because he's not here. Um, so everyone email Lauren, reminding him not to take a night off. Uh, does anyone have the Osensei quote uh, about the uh, hidden and the manifest? Uh, I thought I just sent, sent that to you on text. Um, uh, well, why don't you, let's go ahead and read it while we're waiting. Sincerity. Cultivate yourself sincerely and thus realize the profound truth that the manifest and the hidden are one. That might be worth repeating. You want to do it one more time? I can't help thinking, you know, I did an interview with Peter and I asked him what was the most important thing. He used the word honesty, you know, and I don't know that any of these words come across, but anyhow, the quote is sincerity, cultivate yourself sincerely and thus realize the profound truth that the manifest and the hidden are one. Any signal from Brad yet? Uh, no. 
Okay, well, it's obviously a good time for everyone to practice their centering exercises. Appreciate everyone's patience and uh, hopefully this will improve the sound quality. Okay, uh, looks like, do we have you back? There you are. Now we okay. see your lips moving. So, yep, we're waiting. <clears throat> uh, Richard read the uh, Osensei quote a couple of times while you were gone. I uh, sort of a cut to commercial. Okay, we're trying. Can you hear me? This I is better, Bob. Uh, yeah. So I'll read the quote again for your sake as well. Sincerity, cultivate yourself sincerely and thus realize the profound truth that the manifest and the hidden are one. I assume that's the quote you were asking about. Richard, can you hear us? You're really loud and clear, Brad. Yeah. Bob is softer. I'm, I'm right by Go the ahead. computer. Um, Do you want to take speak? I am talking. Yes, no, maybe. Pretty good, yeah. pretty good. Pretty How good. about the other audience out there? Anyone else have tr difficulty hearing Bob? No, I can hear him. Great, Although thank you. Although it does you. sound like he's picking up on a remote, you know, a microphone that's not very close to him rather than the microphone. That black thing that's in his him. ear? Yeah, that's the one that he's picking up on. He's, he's going to be on the computer mic tonight. I'm not sure what's going on with the microphone, so we'll just have to use the computer. Okay. Yep. Sorry about that, everybody. Our apologies, a little glitch. Ah. Noah. Noah. Look at me. Can you, can you hear me, Robert? I can hear you, but it's still not the, up to the usual sound quality. But yes, I can hear you. <clears throat> Ah, okay. This help. Huh? Oh, okay. Anyway, so I was saying in the old days, uh, nobody knew really what energy was. Okay, there's no hatha yoga really. There was no meditation classes. There was no tai chi available. There was and on and on. Okay. So how I laid it out was manifest realm was the heavier physical uh, uh. And then we got into finer realms, which I called energy, sense energy, energy flow, stuff like that. So I took it as a manifest as being the heavier, okay? and then I delineated and said the finer energy dimension were the hidden. Now we're changing that, clearing that up. All of the heavier dimensions, matter, and the lighter, finer, lighter, finer, lighter, finer of energy dimension, those are all one category, manifest. Okay, so I just compacted it again. Is that, is that okay? Yes. Hear me okay? Yes. Ah, in a certain way, it could make it easier because you don't feel like you have such a major border to cross, moving from manifest heavy into finer of energies. They're all just a continuation. Okay, the edge is five, and it gets finer, 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 finer. Okay, all, all one thing. Okay. Now, uh, that all of that one thing is manifest. Now, what's the hidden the hidden now is this, uh, I call it world or realm at first, of the self. Oh, sensei likes the word domain, the domain of self. Okay. I'll let the hang with that word and see if we can get more flavor out of it. But anyway, that's the word he draw at. <clears throat> okay. So now back to the manifest. We still have to do up front, our first basic, our settling down, uh, center, circle, circle, center, whatever pattern you're using. 
in whatever form, yayi yuge yo, mami mu mebo, a fire to the water and water to the fire till they get balanced and they start to steam. Uh, whatever form, it's dance of forms, okay? But all based on a balanced harmony potential within that whole manifest of energy. Okay, the manifest, yeah. Now, to some degree, you need a certain amount of balance there. Well, Tensei said, in that, you could pick up that uh, hidden or the self fairly early. Some will pick it up later, which I infer to be, oh, you need a little finer set level in the manifest. And then you get a finer dimension set in the manifest. Then you may notice, oh, what's this thing happening here? What's this thing trying to show through? My words won't be great. We don't have a language yet. Okay. So you'll pick it up early or you'll pick it up later. Or you said you'll miss it completely. Why would one miss it completely? Because this harmony of finer energies is so enticing. Finer and finer. And if it's beautiful, it's even more beautiful. And that finer and finer seems like it could almost go on forever a certain way. And, and beings are so enthralled by the finer harmony of things that they're experiencing. Uh, they don't catch that there's something else that I call a self. Okay. The hidden doesn't show to them as clearly. So we're going to have a, we'll have a variety along the way. I haven't lost you too badly, have I? Uh, does this map help here? Uh, this is a basic. Uh, so we have a center and a circle, a character at that level. You do your basic settling easy, dot, 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 whether you chant it or meditate it or whatever. Okay. And you move into the next finer dimension, okay, which is a circle and a center and a finer character. That's where I use the, the first one is Bobby on a bad day. Next one is Robert. Next one is Nato. Okay. So a certain amount of, of that, of that balance, that experience. Okay. And then some of you will catch that there's something else there. Uh, you'll get a sense of something. Okay. So a sense of self. Some of you won't catch it here. You'll have to go a bit finer, finer center circle, better, better character. And then you'll go, oh, what's this thing here? Something is nagging on me, something trying to be said or, or, or pushing on me. Somehow you pick it up. Okay. Then we'll move into that domain, into that domain of self. And again, we, we need to create almost a language here. And self itself will be present, will be present here, lined up, hopefully, to your, I call it person now, to your character, to uh, lined up to Robert, lined up to Nado, lined up to the great sensei, whatever, whatever. That there's a, a, an overlay still, so don't go anywhere. It's all here. It's a continuation of that. It's just inner finer here. Ah. Along the way, many of you have had moments where you sensed something or, or you had a certain kind of insight that was different than your normal insights. Okay. Uh, or something was there that was very useful for whatever was happening that was different. And you noticed it, you weren't sure what to do with it or what to call it, but you all tend to remember that moment where that showed through or presented itself. Again, you don't have to like it yet. Are you okay so far? Now, some of you who had those near death experiences, so I'll go back to Danny on the motorcycle with that big truck with 
all those big, big tires and the motorcycles going down and whatever. And something happened there where he was aware of the uh, manifest world, what the motorcycle was doing and his hand on the motorcycle, but something else was there, like controlling the situation or something. And it was there much more massively or something that he'll never forget that, that happening. Okay. Uh, Jack Wada loves this one where he was going off the road down a, a cliff thing and uh, didn't have to control the car, but I don't know, the car almost by itself steered that way and ran into a tree to stop it from plummeting deeper and deeper into this great ravine. And he'll never forget that. He, he was wowed by that experience then. Okay, so you've all had bits and pieces or majors where something past the norm happened and you really weren't sure what to think about it, what to call it, where it came from. Uh, but usually you don't forget it. Okay, so when I ask you to open mic and say, yeah, give me some example of what you experienced that you thought might have been the presence of self. Many of you will, will jump on that. I think we've done that all, already. Yeah. One Friday night. Okay, I need a break. Somebody open my. Did I lose you? Uh, Sensei, this is Bob. Uh, another experience of the kind you were talking about was Jean McGrath's, where she was in that river current with yeah. her breath. Ocean, ocean current. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to tell the story? Because you, you know it as well as I do. Okay, she's swimming with her brother in the ocean, big undertow, big strong. Her brother tries to fight it, he drowns, he dies. She heard a voice, sounded like my voice, but I'm not saying I was there keeping an eye on her. Uh, but let's say self, using my voice so that she would pay attention. And, I, and it said something like, I don't know, easy. I think, yeah, easy. I like that word. Easy, easy. So she stopped fighting, and the current took her out of the undertow off to the side where she could safely get back to shore. So Shalom said, I saved your life. So, okay, but I think that was a self picking in there. Happened to be using my voice, but uh, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that was cute. Anyway, I don't know if we need more stories unless you're dying to tell yours, but do you get a sense of what I'm trying to lay out? Uh, uh, I didn't lose you on this pattern because I changed it a little bit. Heavy matter, finer dimensions, oh, that's one thing. Okay. Certain degree of balance, experiential balance in that one thing, you have an opportunity to say, hey, self. However, we're going to do that part of it so that the self that's there can make itself known to uh, not just as an idea, but as an actual more and more and more present. You won't get the first one fully present, but uh, it's a percentage game. Remember that everything's a percentage game. We have more percentage in the manifest and very little percentage for the self experiencing itself that way. So when I do a pass, you square it away and then play with the presence itself, I don't expect game busters the first moment, but I do another, I do a trade-in, I do a downtime, your style, whatever you like, okay? Or I do a fire, water, steam, man, and boom. And eventually, you've done enough work in the dimension of setup to where you should, if you have any degree of a self, hmm, self advance, but uh, we're not in the, all in the same grade. Okay. Uh, so some people early, they said, hey, there's something else there. What, what, what is that? Others are thicker, heavier. And you go, what's the word self mean to you? Duh. Oh, you read me? They don't have a sense of self. So, so we have different grades, if I could use that word, of, of self. 
So anyway, when you first tap self and we'll invite it in for like a word, we need a language. Uh, I like the percentage game, a little bit of self, same hint of something. I ask you, what's your sense of self? That's where I was going. What's your first faint sense of self? And you, you have a sense of something. I'm not saying that's totally it here, but you have a sense of something. Okay, I say quite a lot. Uh, did I lose you? Anything to clarify right now? Um, yeah. um, you know, I, I don't have anything dramatic along those lines, but, but I keep, every time you talk about that, I go back to uh, an experience in uh, our workshop years ago where we did something called feathering, uh, if you recall that kind of process, whatever it was. But that's my workshop. Yes, yes, uh, down south, when you came down south. I'm okay. And, and the experience I had, which, which has stuck with me forever, is a sense of not wanting anything, of being in that place. And it was very unfamiliar, but absolutely not wanting anything. So uh, I'm just throwing that out, see how, you, how that. And I'm not sure if that was a, a level of balance in the uh, uh, matter universe, or if that was a, a, a first sense of self. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I say, okay, good. Let if you get back there again, let's continue and let's go through that. Okay. So let's not name it. Uh, oh, a place where I didn't want anything. Wow. What? How unusual. That self. Like, no, no, no. This is the beginning. It's a percentage game. Was that self, or are you just getting closer and closer? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Okay, but again, I'm not interested right now in your examples, unless you're dying to tell them. I, I think we understand what we're talking about, that we've all had little things that were unusual and came from a different place and, and whatever. I don't know if we have to listen to more. Maybe we do, if so, jump in and say your story. Uh, I'm more interested in the general schematic here, the, the, the general sense of things, ah, open mind. Anybody be totally lost? Anybody, oh, of course, I'm clearer on it now. Anybody out there? Well, I, I really like the, uh, the Osensei oh, quote. Um, it just seemed to we we tend to talk about um, how our uh, inner work affects our outer work, um, and you know you and you and I have had a conversation about this. And um, to me, that that's what that quote says: is the the outer work reflects what's going on inside. Yeah, you see, we're on a continuum. Now, when you've done your first basic, settle a bit. A uh, little better ground, a little better center, whatever. Boom, suddenly there's a Robert compared to a weird Bobby. There's a Robert compared to a Bobby. And he moves a bit better. Okay. He speaks a little bit better. Uh, his presence is a little bit better. So, yeah, always some degree of internal manifest external. Okay. That pattern hasn't changed. Where we're going for is the internal of self, uh, uh, the original self, the soul self, uh, the constant self, uh, okay? So we don't use the word self in the manifest. Some people do. Oh, myself? Uh, so we wanna make, I wanna make sure that you have a distinction the way that we're using self right now, we're referring to uh, the domain of self the true self, more original self, uh, the self that is pre the Nado lineage. Okay. So again, we need a language or maybe a certain word we could use to represent that, that is clearly its word. But we're gonna run out of words after a while. So some should be good enough. 
Don't you know when we talk about self now, these days, we're talking about the inner self, the truer self, the more original self, that self that's there when Bobby dies. Self is there. Been through a lot of bodies. It's still going on. Oh, yeah, I used to be a Roman warrior, and then I had a couple of lives as an Indian, and uh, no, 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 no. Self contains all of that stuff. Am I losing you yet? <laughs> Not a question in the bunch. You're all right on tune with me. Can you hear me? A little lost. <laughs> Trying to hang in there. <laughs> like, where are you? So I can figure out where you got lost. Oh. oh. Out for a party and say, I got lost. I say, okay, is there a gas station there? Is there a 7 Eleven there? A McDonald's, where are you? Give me some reference. That's all I'm doing. I, I think I'm in that early point where, um, where you keep reminding people not to stop there, like where, oh, it's quiet, or um, certain amount of balance, minor energy balancing. It could be very peaceful, very quiet, very loving, very understanding, very compassionate. It's a beautiful break. Last week, what, uh, last week or sometime, a couple weeks ago, when Tom was saying in his meditation, he reaches this place that he calls home. He really likes it. He recognizes it. It's a much finer level in his space, in his space. Uh, that he's been to before. He he likes that place. Okay? So you're going to run across all kinds of nice places because of the harmony of the manifest. Were you okay, sir? I feel like there's a paradigm shift somewhere between the nice places along the way and the self yeah. that I'm not seeing yet. Yes. So what I'm trying to give people a heads up on, I know the places are nice, but we should continue the journey. If you have a self that's a little more, I don't have the words, present, demanding, <laughs> uh, that, that you don't know, that there's still something more. This is, and, and you won't mind trading that nice place in for a next. Now the next could be the next, next circle of thing. It will be the same pattern, but nicer. Home will be homier. Whatever that means. Nice will be nicer. Continue that pattern. Very, very, extremely nice. And that girl says, I say, yeah, but you can go on forever with that and you'll miss it. I'm just trying to give you a heads up. A certain amount of balance. If you have a calling by self, whatever the right words are, we haven't established the language yet. If there's a pull from self or a push from self or a calling from self, if you take the opportunity to have that balance and use that as a, a doorway, you trade it all in, you clear the deck. I say, uh, uh, set the stage, clear the stage from itself to start to present itself. And then I say to you, not only expect game busters, any vague sense of something good, bring it all in again. It's a percentage game. Self has a stage to stand more fully on. Any sense of it here? And, and I continue to. I'm... Sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think I'm getting the sense that to just keep going. Like, don't don't arrive at one place and say, okay, oh. I found a quiet place. Hooray, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Just to keep keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. If they couldn't stop the, the call, I don't know what words to use now. The call from itself was so strong. You couldn't be happy being the toughest guy in town. There was a call, not there's more. And his call was strong. Mine is pretty strong. Okay. Say, wow, where do you get the endurance to keep doing this nonsense? I have a strong call. If I don't follow it uh, with the amount of whatever that's there, I'm going to go off into the opposite. 
go off into crazy land. I got to do this stuff. I have no choice. Okay. So it depends on how strong your calling is. If it's if you don't have any, you won't watch this program. You won't have any feel to watch this program. What the fuck are you talking about? This is bullshit. I'm not like that. Well, no, no, there is something. There is something. I always know there was something. Something. That's sort of a very personal person. How they get attracted by that, how they recognize it. We each have our own style of approach. I'm a not those style of approach. You're your style of approach, okay? So I'm just trying to say that well, the general approach pattern is the same. Exactly the qualities you bump into or, or how it begins to show it will vary a bit. And for this piece of the work, this uh, a domain of self, uh, I'm not totally versed in the variations yet. That will unfold and will exchange and share. Uh, for example, uh, Susan, are you on? Can you did not hear? Um, let's see. Oh, there she is. Susan, do you have audio? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. When uh, Dusty said something we were playing with, this thing of now, and Dusty threw out a word, do you remember? I'd like to report back to him. Yeah, his word was innocence. Okay. Uh, so I think we were probably at this place where, okay, self is here, what's your sense of self? And he said, Ooh, a strong feeling of innocence. Okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And I like what you said. Yeah. Susan said, ooh, I wonder if that's not a quality emanating from self. That, so far so good. Uh, another possible example, uh, Gina, come on, where is it? Oh, it's feeling, we're talking about the self here. It's feeling like it has something to do with power so far. So then my question becomes, and we'll pick it up with practice. I'll, I'll figure all this out soon. Uh, that uh, this is self here, yeah, okay? This is self, core of self. That the emanation self has all the qualities at a much better level than in your human body condition, okay? So self is closer to the more perfect of those qualities, the pure of those qualities. So Dusty picked up, uh, uh, Susan, give me the word again. Innocence. Innocence. So maybe there's a radiation of innocence as one of the main qualities from the itself. Gina said, oh, I want to get when I call up self, I don't know about self, but, but I feel this power that something, something powerful is nearby. Oh, she's picking up power as a quality from self. So I'm surmising maybe some people uh, don't get the first sense of self, but they feel the quality emanations, making up words there. The quality emanations from self. Self is a great holder of your qualities. Does that make any sense? You sort of almost follow that, Gina? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you uh, bump into that, that's where I would continue. I, I, I would enjoy the feeling. Okay, it feels like a ray of power. I'll just hang out here. Feel that ray. Absorb that ray. And then you can track that ray back to the source, which is self. It can't be too far away. It's right there someplace. Okay, so just accept it. I'm not saying power itself. I'm saying it's one of the em emanations or qualities of yourself. So we we'll be backtracking it to ah, more of the fuller, 
middle of it, presence of it. Da, 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 da. Sort of, kind of, maybe. So that's my guess uh, because of what Dusty said and what Susan, Susan said back to him, which I thought was good retort to his thing. And that was a quick sense I had when Gina said, it's like a play with self, and I don't know about self, but I feel power, some power here someplace. I say, huh, I wonder. Okay. So do some people pick up the qualities that self emanates first before they pick up, uh, uh, I pick up a little bit more of the actual feel of self. But, I, but they may pick up that radiations of a certain quality first, and then they'll get more of the fuller of the self experience in itself. Uh, again, we have to create a language here so we can talk. Uh, back to Tom. Uh, so Tom meditates, he gets to a beautiful place at home. Oh my God, I'm home. Okay. Not saying that's wrong. I say, oh, great. Well, Sensei, by the way, like the word soak. I that word. Uh, soak in it. Soak in it. Now, if you're sharp, eventually you'll say very nice. Now, Trading all of this in, what's next? And it'll either be a finer home, if you continue being, 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 like I just said, and a finer, finer home, and a more comfortable home, and you're going dimensional. But I'm getting bored with staying in the manifest going dimensional. Some of you are bored. It's nice, it's fun, it's a, you can work it, yes, it's great, but some of you are being pushed, called by self, saying, come on. Yes, yes, that's nice, but come on. So I'm saying, okay, so let's say Tom didn't catch it with this home thing. He's so happy being home with you. You stop there. That's okay. That's okay. Enjoy the hell out of it. That's okay. But then he said, he's sharp. I keep my ears open. When Tom speaks, I listen. Uh, he said, but in the garden, when he's doing yard work or garden work, uh, he, he establishes his balance, okay? And he notices someplace in there that self is showing a little clearer. Did you not say that, Tom? Yeah. I can't hear this. He's on mute. You're muted, Tom. Okay. Yeah, it was... Uh... Was a real realization of was it me nourishing the plants and the soil? It was a larger self that was engaging this nourishment, more larger, more universal nourishment of me, the soil, the plants. It was, um, yeah, that that, that was a, a finer place. I would call it, a finer place of being. I don't know. But this self, uh, as we get better tapping it, and it's more present, it radiates. Oh, that was such thing that use that word. I use that word. Hmm. Emanate, emanate, emanate. He likes emanation. I mean, I don't know the difference that's that hang with these words for a while. I say radiant. Being the earlier source emanates. So it emanates through your energy body, your physical body, emanates to your domain of garden. Yeah. Yeah. So what you said was perfect, beautiful. I love it. This thing, I'm nurturing the plants. And this thing jumped and said, no, wait a minute. I'm here, I am self, I nurture you, and you go ahead and naturally nurture the plants. And, yeah. and you nurture Yeah. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah. Ah. The, other thing, the other thing, Sensei, that happens, well, and when that happened, it wasn't a uh, so much work. To, sure, there was work in the garden, but 
there was no major effort or no, it just happened. It occurred, the self occurred, it appeared. It wasn't a, um, I wouldn't call it work. Let's put it that way. I'd call it an eminence and a, and a happening. Um, when I'm in this familiar space or place, very well. It's more of a connection with this deeper understanding of this inner self, the vastness of it. I think I'm at home with the vastness of it, the potentiality of it. Um, it the potentiality is nourishing. Um, just the potential of this inner space. Uh, one of my favorite commercials, and I don't watch a whole lot of TV, but there are these two kids and they're watching on the computer and this person says, hey, the, the universe is a vast place full of wonder and experience, explore, but did you know your brain, or I equate it to the self, is much more vast than the mysteries of the universe. And the kids kind of go, pow. I mean, it just, <laughs> it just gave them the, the license to explore their inner self like you would explore any vast space and be at home in that vastness, in that void, in that familiarity. So anyway, I, that's my... Thank you. Yeah, it's great. Personal. Uh, this is not going to be some stranger. This is going to be your self. Okay. Right. But it's a self Bobby may not know about. I run everything. I do everything. I do. Yes, yes, yes. We trade it in. Better character. Yes, yes. We trade it in. And self, the more original self. It's, it's me self. It's yourself. Okay. Don't be afraid of yourself. Sensei, <clears throat> Sean here. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I, um, when you said me, self, yourself, it, it, it struck me as like, well, part of this is like getting uh, a sense of appreciation and um, uh, what was you saying? Um, when you, um, humility and, and like less self. Uh, less uh, not self less uh, me and less you and more about a uh, sort of a, a we universal thing if bobby doesn't trade in there can't be a robber if robber doesn't trade in there can't be a not no if the whole shebang doesn't trade in there can't be the fullness aliveness presence of self and and my where i get hung up where i have a uh, an issue i think is not sensing the um strata the the thresholds um that occur um and like s soaking in that and then being able to go on to the next but just having that sense of strata uh i don't know the simple basic maybe i'm missing something your simple basic are a balance yeah if you're listening to vibration style, uh, there'll be kind of a pleasant hum that feels balanced. Mm -hmm. Something that represents balance is a potential gateway. And then, okay, so 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 you're there and you hang uh, out for it for how long? Like Bobby has to feel himself as Bobby. Yep. Read I am Bobby. Recognize Bobby's energy, experience yep. him. Then he trades in oh. down. Okay. Heart. Yep. Maybe yep. Whatever your form is, and yep. and next is the next dimension. Robert starts to stand there again. It's a percentage game. I don't have a hundred percent robber yet, but I got somebody. Boom. Who's a whoa? And I feel him first before I. Yep. Yep. Experiences himself. Robert then knows his own philosophy viewpoint. There has to be a trade in. So, so what I that's very just that's very clear. Like just the other night when you when you demonstrated a very simple ten con, 
and, and I was, you know, floored. I just felt like um, there's that uh, soaking in that and a sense of presence that is um, that part of the manifest of soul, which is a weight of a, a, a gravitas, a, a whatever you want to call it, a depth. A lot of people are afraid in meditation type things to die. No, that's part of the game. Bobby dies, Robert said. Yeah. And then all along the way, I don't mind dying because then now, oh, it's a continuation. <laughs> yep. In the manifest universe setup, whatever Nadal's name is at that level. When yep. he trades all in a certain way, he's dying, but he's dying for the self that's there, that is original, that pervades through the Nadal lineage. And uh, it, uh, as Tom would say, he feels everything out there. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Okay, moving. Uh, again, don't want to lose you people too far because I want to continue along this line of self. Where the hell are we? Where are you? You got a general drift of underlying the manifest universe is equal to it in relationship to it, the, what's the big word again, damn, domain, domain of self. That's what we call the white paper, okay? So if he trades in here, I've got a certain amount of white paper if he shows early, okay? As we, uh, as he continues to develop himself, uh, self will expand on itself become more aware of its aliveness, more aware of how it fits in. So, uh, okay, so what? Careful, one trick here. If you notice when I played one time with self, uh, and I, I think we were doing the chance to represent the balance, we were doing the balance of, of these things, with the yayi mommy or whatever we were doing. And I said, okay, Let's say this is it's trading in downtime, whatever form words that you use, and stage is clear. Here is self in the early stages. Okay. And I wanted to give you a heads up. So I said it's feeling its own aliveness. It's, self has its own aliveness. Okay. You probably didn't catch it, but I emphasized it. Why I'm doing that is there's a tendency since the dawn of time to major in the awareness of and not enough with the counterpart, the other part of it, which is the experience of itself. Experiencing self, self says experiencing myself, I am aware of myself, aware of myself, I am experiencing myself. It's not two pieces, it's one piece, but within that, those, those two statements are going on. I don't know how to say that well. But we historically majored in awareness and not enough in the experience. So I'm trying to give you a heads up to try to get the uh, self to show with some aliveness. We all lose the awareness about it, but, but to have the aliveness, a sense of that. Alive, it'll be aware, aware, more alive, kind of thing. Uh, I don't want to continue this aware, 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 aware. Because uh, in, in the realm, we're also going to have to do, as self, do some lineup to, I don't know the word, practices, continuation of development. We have a little work to do in that realm, much easier than the physical realm and stuff, but still some, some work to be done. To be a, I don't know, a, a truer self, a, a more alive self. Uh, uh, don't have the words down there. You got the words as we go along. Oh, are we okay? Am I losing too much? 
sensei, that sense of aliveness is also a sense of calling, right? Right. I and mean, after a while, it becomes a sense of calling. Sense of calling. Possibly. Possibly it could be calling with all of the uh, stuff that it naturally em emanates. That could be part of the call. Yep. Yep. But unless you're experiencing the calling, following the calling, uh, just another word is not going to do us anything. So I'm trying to cut you off on words here. Uh, just suggest that. Somebody. Sensei, how are you doing? Oh. Um, picking back, going to piggyback off that. Uh, let's say, um, let's say in some, no, I'm sure you've heard some, somebody going through life and suddenly they have an epiphany or whatever that case and they realize they should be going down this path or maybe they are going through a career and they realize it's not for them and they, they realize, hey, I'm supposed to be doing this thing or that. Would you say that's like a, they are trading in and then going to a new uh, level of themselves? Is that the case or is that something else entirely? They're at. Hmm? I, I don't know what level they're at. So maybe self gave them a nudge. Maybe it was just the realization, oh, I don't want to be a plumber. I should be a cop or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, you know, what got triggered in there, feeling themselves as a plumber, thinking, oh, this is too easy for me. I want to do a desk job. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm more comfortable doing a desk job. Yes. I, I don't know what level they're at, but I can't say that was self-snudge. Uh, also in the manifest world, we have sort of balanced common sense, a balanced, better viewpoint of things. Mm -hmm. If I were more balanced in my world, I wouldn't have chosen Aikido for an occupation. I would have chosen to save money. Anyway, joke, sort of. Uh, well, lucky for us. <laughs> anyway, uh, somebody, where are we? Where are we? I don't want to lose you too far there. I have a question about the relationship of uh, self to the universe. I think you've talked about this before, but since we're here. Uh, are you designating a different set here or, or what? No, no, well, no, I, you know, so just uh, someone said earlier that self, you know, it was, it was a quote, but that self was vaster than the universe. And I'm, uh, I'm wondering if self in something, there is some kind of original structure, but you're getting past my pay grade. The original unnameable in setting up used its unnameable size for the setup. Well, then we're in that size. So you're getting past my pay grade there. And, and I don't want to get, and how many angels fit on the head of a pin? So, <laughs> I'll stay there. It won't be any different. Okay, good, good enough. Mm -hmm. We're open mic. If anyone has a question, comment. This is Justin in Miami. Sensei, hi, Sensei, everybody. Um, quick question: <clears throat> As we are uh, balancing and um, refining our sense of person and character um, in 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 the manifest. It's um, been noted that some people are more um, center people and some people are more circle people. Um, is, it, is it a similar approach when um, noticing presence of self um, and inviting more and more of that presence to be a more center inviting type person or a more circled inviting type person when making a stage for self? You know it when it happens. Mm. I, I'm practicing talking to self. People, bear with me uh, to get a sense of how things work in that domain. Okay, and some of the selves kind of over this way. And now and then, I get a self that lines up better. They're like more present. 
Okay. So one thing I'm trying to do, I'm running the class. I got like there, but I'm running the class. Uh, oh, by the way, could you uh, feel your own aliveness? I know you're aware. I get that feeling you're aware. But could you feel more your aliveness? Because I'm talking to selves who are related to a person. Okay. Uh, because if they can feel themselves, if they're feeling plus their awareness, awareness plus their feeling, I think they'll position better with their person. Okay. And I think if they position better, it'll be like Tom said, when it positions better, uh, whatever he said, he feels fed. He feeds the garden. It's just a nice, beautiful continuum with this core self, you know, this core self being the radiating wow that enhances the shit out of whoever the person character is there and the world they're in. Did I say it right? Justin? Yeah? Okay. Ah. Again, the words are going to be a bit bitchy for a while. Uh, we'll do the best we can to create a dialogue capability here. Uh, uh, uh. So, uh, so do remember, we're going to practice, a certain amount of basic balance, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean four hours of meditating. I mean, come on, it's too close. Nothing wrong with that, but come on. It's too close. So, okay, quick story. My meditations were one hour. Okay. One hour. One day I was short on time at an appointment or dental or something. And I said, oh shit, I only got a half an hour, but I want to meditate. So, okay. And I got, uh, let's call it another, let's call it like Tom's own place. Let's, let's say that was my Tom home. Oh, great. And it used to take me an hour to get there. But this day I only had a half an hour. And suddenly in a half an hour, I'm there at that home place. And I said, what the hell just happened? You know, it took me an hour. So I said, I gotta check that out. So the next stage, I went back at it. I said, okay, now I only got 20 minutes. Boom, same thing happened. I got to that home place in 20 minutes instead of a half hour, instead of an hour. And I think I even pushed it tighter and tighter. Whoa, it's closer than we think. We screw around doing our grand, whatever we do. And it's more here, more now. Uh, not to say think your way to it, uh, but some faster way of passing through all of these. Passing through these. Oh, Sensei was fast. He could go from this old man to bing, watch out. This thing was radiating, you know, emanating. Uh, so, uh, I want to pick up the pace. We're running out of time, you white-haired people. I want to pick up the pace. Okay? Oh. I don't want to spend a lifetime ending up just being a robber instead of a bobby. I mean, it's better than nothing, but come on. Is that it? Come on. You know better than that. You know there's more than that. You know you're capable you have a sense that you're more than that. You always have. Come on, let's, let, let's see how to pick up the pace properly. Okay? Then they will pass. Eating up time. Somebody, somebody, help me along here. It's Mike from New Zealand. Mike. Yeah, the, the self is. What I experience, what I sense is that the self is limitless. And in fact, trying to describe it with the, the everyday language that we use is um, okay, hold it inadequate. Right Stop for a second. Now be careful on that first presence of self. Be careful of limitless, perfect. Uh, it's got to develop itself. There's work to be done yet. So watch out for, oh, it's self, it's total. That's it. No, no, there's a, I'm, I'm even helping people, guiding the, uh, selves to align better, to pick up their aliveness better, because they don't have it yet. They're not advanced, advanced self. So I'm sorry, there's a radiation in 
the realm. Emanation. Yeah, that makes sense. Emanation. Gradation. Gradation. Stepwise better. What to do here? Stepwise. But it'd be easier work because it's in that domain and uh, probably be more fun. You're not as thick and shitty as it can be here. Uh, but, but don't think that you, you, you get a flavor of it that it's, wow. I wouldn't go there that fast. That's, that's not quite what I'm meaning. Limitless is infinite. And therefore, as you say, there's <laughs> always going to be more exploration. You've got further to go. It's not that you've suddenly found this place that oh, is. All I'm saying is, don't use those words too soon is all I'm saying. Yes, that, but yeah. wait, no, let's get something right there. Let's get, let's get whatever. Let's, first flavor of it. Technically, you're correct. But if you go into that limitless, you're sure as shit going to become a major aware and you're going to mix, miss the lineup of what we have to do, how we have to line up as self in the, in the domain of self. So I just don't want you to get lost. And, and if you're entering there, I don't want you to rush out too far. We'll lose you a certain way. Uh, yes, understood. And, and for me, one of the consequences of, of that limitless idea is that I find it quite uh, scary, actually, um, to, to access that more fully, because it is unknown, basically. I don't want to tell Robert this endless thing. Robert can't cope with that. Hell, Robert can't even cope with the concept of being a not dope. I felt so much superior to Robert. So I used to panic going from Bobby to Robert because I could sense uh, Robert was much more. Can I be more? I don't know if I can be more. Uh, so of course you're going to be afraid of something bigger until you are that thing that is actually bigger experiencing itself. To talk about that, don't scare yourself to death. You don't tell a five-year-old son, one day I'm psychic, one day you're going to be a surgeon. And you're going to reach your hand into people's bodies and pull out their heart. You don't tell a five-year-old that. He can't cope. Even if you're psychic, you know he's going to be a surgeon. You don't tell a five-year-old how it's going to work. Daryl. Anyway, I hope you follow that. Uh, I did. Okay. Signs for me. Yeah, I am from Florida. Diane, you are? If you're not, maybe I won't read it. Diane? Yes, I'm here. Uh, okay, what caught my attention? She's repeating. Do you remember last time we did letters? Pretty, I remember that. Uh, 23 years as a workshop leader. Uh, I realize I have actually stepped out of the whole world of teacher, okay? uh, which I've had uh, for the most, I think, 50 years, even before the intimacy was treated me for a lot of years. I led classes in massage, meditation, energy awareness, Aikido, Tai Chi, even drumming, and probably some others that I don't read. I don't think so, but that familiar teacher character isn't in play right now. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 but activate. My predominant feeling this summer is one of curiosity what's next? I seem to be, I seem to be giving the energy time to create a new character. Okay. Now, uh, we have to be careful, I'll use the word. Now, if she's staying in this realm, getting finer, finer dimensional level and creating a character. So just to say, we're, we're, we're going to enter a different realm here, a different, whole different piece. Diane, you got what I'm trying to say there? Yes. 
And I know if you did a finer, you know, you could do a finer level of couples workshop. Maybe it's couples workshops with, I don't know, hands on or something. And it wouldn't satisfy you. Bored a month later or something. This isn't it. I, I think what she's saying is, uh, I wonder if at some point I, of herself, should point out a direction. Or maybe the self has a direction. Ta -da! It wants to point me in. Ta -da! No. Now, and will it let me know? Now, what we're trying to do is not stay in this realm, hoping this self that exists, let's say on the other side of that wall, uh, is going to tell me not to know what to do. You know, we, we pick that up now and then. We all have those stories there. But I would like to activate, bring into play, we need a language, for self itself to be so alive with itself, present with itself, uh, that that clarity of direction. One way I picked up self the other day, it's cuter than hell, was as if it's, it's the main steering thing. And it steers Bobby and his world around. It was very, or like a big steering wheel. I thought that was cuter than hell. Uh, instead of, uh, oh, great self, tell me what to do, because I'm Bobby and I'm a little confused. Yeah, we've done it that way, the best we could do. Uh, but the self is yourself. Is that, is that, am I saying that sort of nice, clear? Yeah. Occasionally, I get glimpses of possibility. Again, I, I just don't want to feel the wits through anymore. We've all had experiences of a wits. And those of you almost died with your motorcycle had a bigger whiff through. Uh, but I'm, I'm tired of whiff through. Oh, Sensei didn't whiff through. Boom, when he stood there, that was it. That was the core. And everything that radiated through this old man into the world he was in was that. Okay. No whiff throughs. We want to move along. <laughs> Uh, uh, but again, and here she gets some good clues. It feels appropriate to give myself time to get used to not being a workshop leader, not being a teacher, thinking into not being anything in particular. You feel this? Yes, yes, yes. I'm trading it in. Not is a downtime work for me. Not being that. It's okay. It's good. I was good at it. Yay. Not being it anymore. It's a downtime trade in. Now, I don't want to trade into another better dimension. She doesn't either. I know her. Okay. I want to trade in for the self that's there. All signs are there for self. Okay. They've been there for a long time, but now we're really putting it out. That's, that's the call. Uh, remember when you say in uh, back in the old days when we were doing partner sitting and we we're going to pass through another person? That was sort of the beginning of hooking in with another self. And it took words then. I didn't expect that degree, but that, that's where we were heading. And you were surprised with the partner you had, how deep into them you were getting, deep into their psyche, deep into their. I don't know, but you were deep. It shocked you how deep you were able to go into that person. Yeah, one more little bit and itself there. We can start the dialogue with us itself. We've had the practicing later. And because you've had so much practice with couples and hanging out to some degree in a form like that, you're trying to go, baby. Yeah. So that's my suggestion. Self is getting anxious. <laughs> Go for it. Uh -huh. anyway. uh, using your time. Uh, 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 TJ, you got anything intelligent for us? Help me. 
-hmm. Okay, Sensei, uh, a couple of things that uh, that occur to me, and I really appreciate this this exchange, this this dialogue, the forum that you're creating is, I think, is really useful as a as a way of exploring uh, what you're calling self and what we are calling self. Um, a couple of things that I think might be useful because it's confusing in language and language can reveal, but it can also conceal. <laughs> and we were talking about in the, in the theme today of the manifest and the hidden. And in some ways that is like what is personal, this personal being and the transpersonal nature, which is the self. Uh, so they, the thing that we really want to, I think, emphasize is that self is here right now. It's not, uh, you, you don't have to create that, but our, you did talk about awareness and that how awareness can open into uh, kind of spacing out. And I think that's, that's true. That's been my experience in working with meditators. So I think that it's also important in this to mm -hmm. understand the thing that is called the awareness of awareness. And please forgive me because I know this is, uh, this is contradictory language, but I would ask us to consider what this is. Awareness of awareness is not awareness. <laughs> so I know that's a paradox but it is the presence of the of the of that ground of being. It's the it's the essence of that what you what you often refer to as original self. And that's what informs, uh, in my in my understanding, my experience, what informs the sense of, of self that can be developed. I think in a certain way. Uh, the old school way of referring to that as a soul is also uh, useful. So I've said a couple of things, and I, I hope that is clarifying rather than more confusing. <laughs> so. A quick reminder for people, we left uh, the words open for self. We call it true self, original yeah. self, yeah. the purest of self, the, uh, uh, the self that is after all your bodies die self is potentially there for you, right? True uh, nature, yes. Whatever word makes you comfortable. So, okay. Uh, but unless you've been brought up Christian and have a weird slant on it, then maybe you have to be careful there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the words, the certain words are like hard to use because people have an idea, they know what it is or they, and anyway, so we have to always create our own language here in the domain of self okay but i like what he started with i was trying to uh, in, intercept them there to have him repeat it that in his work with all the students that he has uh in in meditation and, and all of that uh realizes a lot of them go heavily into just awareness of you know and, and then it happen. uh, yes it happens <laughs> um so Trying to give you a heads up. Self, one trick might work. I'm having fun with it. Uh, is self experiencing its own aliveness. You don't lose any awareness over that. You get aware, but again, it's experiencing its own aliveness. One thing is if we get the self, if we get a proper alignment, what the word. Well, Sensei was heavy duty on the word in, in this level, not ideal experience. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in this area, positioning, proper positioning. Okay. We're going to be calling the self in, and I would like it to position. I'm running into again in that uh, domain a lot of hovers. Mm -hmm. They're close to their person. They're hovering over their person. Okay. But for what we want to do, we want the self alive, present, for lack of words, in the middle of, for lack of words, the, being the core of 
the person and his world. Her world. Okay. Very important. We'll be able to develop much better. Uh, yeah, that's also why it's so important to do the trade in. To trade to trade in the the sense of the person of that of that level the way that you speak about it, uh, Bobby Robert Nado Sensei. Uh, without the trade in, you don't ha have the real opportunity to feel that next uh, greater potential. I think that's what Mike uh, Aswell was uh, kind of pointing to in his language. Um, so the, tr the trade-in aspect is, is quite important. We, we've done it with you in numerous ways, but the one by two by to the one by to the two by to the three by is just another way of saying Bob Robert Nado Sensei. Pattern is a pattern. It's a pattern. pattern. It is the, it's, a, it's a pattern of, of, uh, of realization of not, you can't, this self cannot appropriate the the greater self the smaller cannot grab the larger <laughs> but it can open to it and uh, that's the that's kind of uh, the beauty of it in that way can you say that this knowing about it is limited well no question you're going to drift good enough now after practice that's yeah, a, practice. Yeah, that's right. That's practice. You're knowing about it and talking about it and all. endlessly. <laughs> Nothing will happen. Nothing. You'll be an intellectual man of scholar, then, you know. <laughs> art. And it's all bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, and there may be some value for some personality types to do that, to do a little bit of that work to investigate because it opens their particular expression opens in that way. So we're not dissing that, I don't think. Okay. But, but as, a, as, a, as an ontology, as a way of being uh, all the time, no, you know, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It just opens to more, you know, more finer and finer, great, but at a certain point, that's uh, it's unsatisfying. You're not you're not really connecting with with your own source. Thank you. Bump into a leader, mentor, guru. Uh, you should spot that you're overdoing that. Mm. Yeah. True that. Yeah. We're going to be finishing up here. Uh, anything is going to nag at you all night and we can clarify hopefully in a moment. Uh, Sensei, I, uh, this is Tom. I really enjoyed what Tija was sharing because it, it illustrates the, the, the nature of self, that, that self is not an unnatural event, the manifestation or experience of self is not something unnatural. It's quite on the opposite. It's, it's, it is of the most manifest natural event that we would experience in our lives when it occurs. And so it has this implicit nature and, it, and sometimes just letting self be self <laughs> is the hardest thing to do. Um, and you know, sometimes we'd mutter, we'd say to ourselves, just, just be yourself. Just, it's a, it's a really, it's a common thing, but there's a lot there when we, we mutter to ourselves, just be yourself. You can do this, just be yourself. And this reinforces the actual uh, true nature of our relationship with self um, in that, that calming centered space and place. Yeah, I did, uh, thing about the possibilities eventually of more beings being an actual self. How much better that can be, the communication between self, the understanding of how things work. I think we're expecting in the first physical human level world, uh, 
what with wars and horrible things. We hate each other. Oh, 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 oh. We got to fix this. Uh, you're going to be hard pressed at that level. I mean, wars have been going on for how many years, Tom? 5,000? 5,000 years of whatever, uh, of historical notes about war, probably longer than that. That doesn't count the pavement we're throwing rocks at each other. Uh, uh, but the self, the self level, ooh, that, that's pretty fancy. If more, more beings, more of us uh, could get that thing activating more, Ooh, a lot of possibilities there. I, I can't even think how many possibilities. Susan and I are working on some cases uh, and very interesting, but it must be, un, of course, unlimited potential. When the core of self and its radiation, that was some big word, uh, whatever the word is, uh, and the qualities that are there, whichever own grouping, and the qualities that naturally emanate, uh, and we can exchange with others in, in the self realm. Uh, I always get some kind of personal and self improvement when I hang out with another self. Uh, and always in finishing, I check what did I get out of that self? What did I get out of that? And I'm usually enhanced somehow. Uh, even if I, uh, anyway, I'm, uh, so for me and Susan running around here doing this work, uh, we always finish up after working with itself uh, that, that we double check what we got out of the self. What we got out of that is always an enhancement of some kind of myself. So the self sharing with other selves really begins to make more sense. Anyway, the, the, the other possibilities here. Well, Sensei tried to show you when self is present, how what superior things that look like magic to us were like, it's not a word. Uh, who is this guy? How can he do those things? All he was trying to tell you was. When self is there, then everything else around the energy body, physical body, the world you're in, are all affected. The great story when Osensei died, the vibe in the dojo changed. A lot of nice guys were suddenly three days later being idiots. <laughs> guys who thought were pretty cool turned out to be racist. It, it took a few days of Osensei's self vibing there, not being there. And they were left on their own and their true colors, they mouth. Uh, but he didn't want to hang out there, past his time and carry these people. He had other places to go and things to do. And then, and blah, blah, blah. Are we finishing up? There's no comments. I think we are finishing up. Last, uh, last chance, going once. And next week, clarifying the clarification. <laughs> oh, nice. Describing the ineffable. Describing the indescribable. Thank you so much. I think we're wrapped. Thank all you right. all for being here. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank, thank you, you so much, Sensei. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Sensei. Thank you. Thank you.